हेलो गाइस दिस इज रेवंस फ्रॉम डिजी इंटीग्रेटिव वेलकम टू टेक न्यूज एपिसोड 143 most smartphones in the world run on the android system so when a big problem is revealed the impact is going to be global involving hundreds of millions of users one such problem has just been highlighted which said that the android apps that are being used each as many as 39 security vulnerabilities flaws or bugs on an average that hackers can take advantage of among these are going to be even banking and payment applications as well then the potentially have the power of causing an immense amount of damage to users including the loss of money as per the reports over 60% of android application contain the security vulnerabilities and users have virtually no idea what damage is been caused as a result Grafton has addressed BGMI season 20 bugs and issues with the new patch note. The note fixes the game's unexpected shutdown and issues with the loading screen among other things. The fixes will be applied once the game is restarted. Many people like to watch YouTube videos or have to do it for work. According to the statistics, the corresponding application available in Google Android operating system has got more than 10 million downloads over the entire time. The 10 million downloads doesn't mean that the world has the same number of users. Some buys new smartphones and throws out obsolete ones. Someone simply died leaving their mark in statistic and many own a personal work and smartphone, tablet and a couple of other Android devices at the same time. When you think about a flexible electronics now you are usually thinking of foldable smartphones like the Samsung Galaxy Fold etc but what if if you had to put a chip right into a piece of paper or a medical bandages the silicon based chips we use it right now are brittle and they cannot be folded or stretched the ways these items require so that's a problem chip design firm ARM is looking to solve with its new chip that uses plastic instead of silicon the british firm which is behind pretty much every mobile processor today is looking at this for a future where there is a microcontroller in pretty much everything the company has published a paper in scientific journal nature explaining how it achieved this feat this is not the first time we heard about the concept of flexible chips and it is still a concept but arm says its design have at least 12 times more logic gates than the previous chips the new chip called plastic ram uses a 32 bit cortex m0 cpu 456 bytes of rom and a 128 bytes of ram yes that's the smallest chip chip arm producers but proof of concept chips are often like this chain app was banned in india last year alongside some of the popular chinese application including pubg mobile tiktok cam scanner and among others just like pubg mobile chain announced to be back to india and sell its product on amazon starting prime day sale the delhi high court has now issued notice to the ministry of electronics and information technology seeking ban suspended regulate the sale of chain products via amazon india website Details about MIUI 13 virtual RAM have been leaked. Xiaomi's upcoming custom skin is expected to allow for 3 GB of additional RAM. This will allow phones with limited RAM to offer better performance and multitasking. iPhone 13 series is set to be held the launch of the company's 25 watt charging solution. This will be accompanied by the company's 25 watt charging adapter. AirPods 3 reportedly will also be unveiled at the iPhone 13 launch event. Samsung is expected to launch its Galaxy F42 5G smartphone in the coming weeks. In the latest development, it has been spotted on Geekbench revealing some of the key specifications. As per the listing, it will get a MediaTek Dimensity 700 chipset, 6GB of RAM and an Android 11 support. The Galaxy F42 5G is said to be a rebagged version of Galaxy A22 5G which went official yesterday. As per the Geekbench listing of Galaxy F42 5G with the model number SME426B reveals a single core score of 559 and a multi core score of 1719 Poco X2 is the first smartphone from the company after it was spun off as an independent brand under Xiaomi Corporation. It is nothing but a rebagged version of Redmi K34 G and it is also the first rebagged headset from Poco. Nearly after 1 and 1/2 years after its release, the device is now receiving an MIUI 12.5 update. The Poco X2 debuted with MIUI 11 based on Android 10. The device was updated to MIUI 12 last year. It even received the Android 11 update earlier this year since the headset is less than 2 years old it should also get the MIUI 13 update in the near future Netflix is planning to move beyond just film and TV and into the realm of gaming and providing their subscribers with access to quality games through mobile. Recently, Sony and Netflix made some waves after signing a movie deal starting in 2022. However, there are some traces of Sony PlayStation related images on the Netflix app hinting a larger collaboration. 
From the Moto, we are going to see Motorola H20 is said to be powered by the Snapdragon 778G processor. There are some renders reveal that it comes with a center aligned punch hole display and rectangular rear camera module. The phone will reportedly feature a 108 megapixel primary rear camera and it comes with a 4000 mAh battery. Hawaii announced its SoundX speaker with Deep Bass in collaboration with Dwilight. This year, Hawaii will launch its upgraded model with Harmony OS and a transparent shell. The teaser reveals that the new Hawaii SoundX smart speaker will launch on July 27th along with Hawaii P50 series. The new Hawaii SoundX smart speaker major highlight will be its design and the firmware it will run. According to the teaser video, the smart speaker has a transparent shell that does retain the old design. It seems to have an RGB LED lights that reflect well and thanks to the transparent housing as well. Honor is gradually gaining momentum after a couple of warning shots the company is preparing the launch of its true flagship, the Honor Magic 3 series. We know that there will be two models and both are going to be a genuine flagships. Moreover, the pro version will fight for the highest prices. Anyway, today we got another noteworthy information, the Magic 3 was spotted on Geekbench. From the test results, we can see that the performance of this engineering machine is stronger than that of any already launched Snapdragon AAA mobile phone. The machine has a single core score of 1215 and a multi core score of 3806, and it runs on Android 11 OS. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share, and subscribe, and follow DJ Integrity on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.